District Attorney Mallory Davis told the court part of what happened to him. Was beaten for several hours with a number of instruments. Um, and his brother was also struck several times. Um, not only that, but his brother witnessed um, his older brothers go through a much more severe beating and eventually succumb to his injuries. The prosecutor said there were two eyewitnesses to the hammer killing and Martina also admitted to what happened. The defendant in this case did confess and also indicated during his confession um, that he knew what he was going to do while he did it. Andre didn't deserve what you did to him. He didn't either. And I hope you and your mama suffer and I hope wherever you go they do to you what you did to my baby. I hate you. Long before Martina was accused of beating his grandson to death with a hammer at this home on North 46th Street near Hampton, he pleaded guilty to second-degree homicide for another killer. Prosecutors say if he's convicted of all charges, he could be sentenced to two life sentences plus 35 years. In Milwaukee, Terry Sager, WISN 12 News. Martina is being held on $750,000 bail. The Wisconsin Department of Children and Families cannot comment on a specific case, but under state law, there will be a review of whether more could have been done to protect Andre prior to his death.